Welcome to Dr. David Eifert's Health and Wealth Bulletin. This is Weekly Update. On Monday, the Dow Jones dropped 1,600 points, the biggest one-day drop in history. Since then, stocks have had a massive rally, the biggest in the past 15 months. So we wanted to know what caused it and what it means for our financial security. With me today is John Gillen, analyst for Stansbury Newswire, to help explain what happened. Hey, Chris. Hey. So, John, why don't you tell us what triggered this drop? Oh, well, um, a myriad of things, but, um, and I'm going to refer to some notes here because I don't want to miss anything for, for you guys. Um, sure. Inflation scares have been the biggest concern. Uh, last Friday, you had the employment data. Jobs were fine. Okay. Wage growth, better than expected. Productivity was a little shy of the pot. And then you had a spike in interest rates. So what that caused was stocks trade on present value of future cash flows. So if rates are going up, then funding costs are as well. And that put a real crimp in technology initially. Uh, also, the dollar rally. Dollar's been weak of late. Multinationals have loved that because they sell their goods and services overseas they in the in the local currencies and they make more money with a weaker dollar anyway so everything got off sides pretty quickly and then you've read a lot and heard a lot about the volatility index now there were some gunslingers out there who had been short VIX for years and had made fortunes however when this reversed as it did on uh, started a reverse on Friday and then on Monday uh, there were billions, literally billions lost, and okay. that, ins that panic ensued, and as a result, algorithms kicked in to sell stocks, and algorithms are price agnostic, so spreads widen out on stocks, meaning bids and offers, and when it was for sale, you know, every buyer just took, took a hike, and that's why you had that massive down drop of 1,600 points. Okay. So, um, uh, and that's, so. I think, in a nutshell, what, what did happen. Okay, so with the rally then, are we back to bullish or should we worry about a bear market coming soon? Um, we should, uh, whatever is going to happen, happens quickly in this day and age that we live in. Okay. I mean, one of the keys, uh, well, the keys going forward, earnings have been great. 70% of companies have actually raised guidance. All right. Stocks are trading at about 18, 19 times, which is not historically expensive. So the case for calm is, is there. But a lot of global uh, issues that are taking place, which can, can, can continue to put pressure on equities. One of the keys on Tuesday I wanted to tell you guys about was um, you know, as markets moved up and down a couple hundred points at a clip, at 245 every day, margin clerks make calls to their prime brokers if they've got to square their accounts. And on Tuesday, there was a lot of concern, much like Monday, that there was going to be a, the call out that there were heavy for sale into the close. There wasn't. So the margin clerks tell their bosses they make calls to the big hedge funds who then have an edge, a little inside baseball. Okay. And they, that's where all the buying came from and why it exploded up into the close because there really wasn't anything for sale. Yesterday, a little bit of a different story as tech came for sale. I'm concerned about tech because of what I mentioned earlier. If inflation is going up, interest rates are going up, cost of funding becomes an issue. So that's, that, that was definitely a source of, uh, source of funds yesterday. Okay. So what is the takeaway for investors? Are there any places that are safe to be uh, buying? I right think, uh, as you saw, defense stocks, Boeing and United Technologies, Lockheed Martin, okay. all led to cheers. And that's because of a big budget increase for defense. Sure. We like to see that. Materials typically do well when interest rates are going up. Anything paying a 4% dividend, you're paid to wait, and there are plenty of those now. Uh, banks, regional banks, they look fine to me, particularly in an interest rate environment that's bumping up a better economy. Their net interest margins, their, uh, they're just, their capital growth appears fine. Uh, as I said, be careful with technology. Consumer stocks, I think they're having difficulties or with organic growth. And uh, at all costs, I would avoid mall retailers because they're <laughs> going to become tumbleweeds in sure. February and March. Definitely. Yeah. All so. right. Well, uh, thanks, John. If you don't already follow the Newswire, please do. They have great analysis during the day. Whatever's going on, they're on the pulse of it. And that's it for today. So keep your questions and comments coming to our feedback line. And like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Thanks very much.